Hey, what's going on everybody here? Welcome to a brand new video. I am excited about this one because it is borderline uh, what we can expect plus a few additions uh, to our special transport. So uh, what you're going to be able to, what you're going to see here on this video is the complete ETS2, that is Euro Truck Simulator 2 special uh, cargo that was released for ETS2 that has been ported into ATS for us to enjoy as a mod. Um, so this really just brings the trailers into ATS, although the trailers themselves uh, are European in nature. They're not your typical American trailers. Uh, but there's some things in America that are transported that still have the American feel with the push trucks and even those, those types of things. So you'll just have to get past there being some... I think there's German writing on one of the silos and the heat exchange has got some other foreign lists. So you just put that stuff aside. These are fun to haul around. They are ridiculously challenging and you will find, especially driving in through different cities and other stuff, you're going to just meet up with just stuff that makes it tough. Uh, it, 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 it is what it is. It's just fun. So just get past the whole realism thing and, oh, you'd never take that through a town. Well, none of the towns in ATS even look real anyway. So, you know, just go ahead and put that kind of stuff to bed because it's all right this is just one of those fun videos it's a fun trailer pack they are freight market only they are free and you can download them so let's go ahead let's take a peek and see what you get so inside of the freight market with these things you've got everything there's it is the literally the gigantic silo uh you've also got the mining truck complete full it unfortunately does have this lime green trailer on. I wish it was like all one color, but it's lime green. Um, you have the heat exchange, which was out of ETS. So it was the mining truck. You have two different types, and you also have a heat exchange. You have the really big one. Then you have the condenser, and then I think it has a smaller one. You also, really more or less what really happens is you actually transport the mining trucks on a truck by themselves in the bed and wheels come on an, a separate truck or maybe even split up as three trucks. Not exactly sure, but anyway, this one offers you to have uh, both of them. And as you can see, huge, insane loads of weight. Now, I'll keep it on going with that. You've got these huge construction uh, staircases that are already kind of prefab made up. So that's 110,000 pounds. Now you can see these are even Portland. So these are working inside. So this is updated for 1.32 and does include Oregon. So you will find the jobs from the, everything in there. Boiler parts. You've also got, uh, this one right here, this mystery cylinder. I can't remember what they called or what was in the cylinder in ETS. I can't remember. And then you have just the giant silo. So the giant silo is a little bit smaller. It's not quite as memeish and big. Um, and then after that, it pretty much goes back to your standard stuff in, uh, in inside of uh, ATS. So because this is the one big freight market that I have. So we've actually got the giant silo, of course, because that's what everyone wants me to see. So right now we're in Eureka. I'm at least going to pull, at least get back into the main thing. So we're going to go ahead and load this thing up. And I'm at least going to get on the road, at least the open road here. Uh, and then we're going to cut, we're going to actually cut across. Uh, we're actually going to on, uh, uh, our Ontario is where we're going. Uh, this one right here is going to El Centro. But we're actually left off in Eureka. And it is going into Ontario. So we'll uh, put a few things here of this one. Um, and then, But here's the thing. If you guys want to see any more of these trailers, uh, then hit me up, leave me a comment, say, dude, I'd love to see you pull this in a video. Uh, this would be really cool with this particular truck and that kind of stuff, you know, so let me know what you want to see any of those, uh, any of those parts and pieces. I would love to like throw and feature them all in here, but I don't know that people would really care. I don't even know if they'd watch. Um, you just, sometimes you just have no idea, put a lot of work into a video. Nobody watches it. Then you could throw together a video. It took you five minutes to make it. The people like, oh my God, it's the best thing on YouTube. So, you know, if you want to see something, just drop a comment. Say, hey man, I'd love to see you with the 389 and the mining truck. Do another video like that again. I'd love to see it. Well, hey, drop me a comment. Let me know. Uh, and then we'll see if we can't make that happen. So right now we're in the Mac Anthem, which is just one of my favorites. I don't know why. Uh, would this probably pull this trailer? No, probably not. And we're going to even see if it can pull it now. But um, but yeah, I know it's, it's probably not going to pull this trailer, but you know what? It's cat. It's a, a relatively brand new skin there from Sir Blackie Lot. So good uh, kudos to him for another swell paint job. I know Polly's been working on some other Volvo paint jobs as well for Caterpillar. So those guys are getting back at it. So it's good to see that. So anyway, let's see what we got here. 
I think we're already, yeah, we're already loaded up. So we're going to crank up here and let's, uh, let's see what we got. Turn flashers on. Let everybody from here to, I don't know, the tip of Oregon knowing where uh, we're coming. So, all right, so I guess we can, okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see if this thing can do it. Good so far. Pretty smooth. Let's get out of here at least. So oh boy. So the cool thing about this thing is it is on its complete pivoting arms to the back. The whole thing pivots and everything. Look at this man. Even the cop stopped. He's like, oh boy. He's like, I'm right, probably gonna have to give these boys a ticket. All right, let's get to the outside. This <laughs> thing pulled it like a ball so far. Now the the tricky thing about this trailer, I'm just gonna tell you, the trickiest thing about this is making any kind of a turn with walls on the inside like a bridge like this. It's for whatever reason that trailer kicks off and it is something it's something horrific trying to get this thing pulled back around, so let's go in downshift. So what's this trailer up? There it goes. Which this trailer gets going, it don't waste no time. There she goes. It breaks up. All right, not too bad. Probably not my best brake job, <laughs> uh, but you know we're here. Things are a little high. Things are smoking, but it's all good. that guy go there he goes so you really don't want to swing out too wide you just want to get it and go because that back trailer there it goes see that thing kicks out pretty quick basically follows your front tire track so as long as you give it plenty of room that that one actually went really well i'm kind of surprised And this would be one of those things where we would have a, uh, you know, we, we would have somebody that's out there uh, you know, directing us and doing the pilot car stuff, but uh, at least not until we get our own special delivery, which hopefully is not going to be too long. our first challenging little trip up here so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one in the cab here and uh, we'll see what happens probably have to do a little downshifting here and get up uh, get up the hill but um, got a couple of nice turns up here will be a little probably a little bit challenging but this trailer's actually done pretty well so whoever converted this thing over they've got the right radiuses on the wheel and this may be in the original mods from uh, from SES if it is you can tell they always do a good job, especially when the wheels steer. They always do a good job of making that, you know, pretty realistic. Uh, anything like this would more than likely have a push truck grump behind it. Um, so they'd be able to kind of direct where that rear tire. So they could kind of almost swing the back end of this up, you know, like they wanted to. It wouldn't be automatic like this. So All right, put it down fourth. Let's see. Let's see if it's on Mac and pull it up the hill.
has been a pretty good trip so far. We really haven't had too much to worry with uh, in regards to overpasses and bridges and all that other kind of stuff to have to go in between. So even built up a little bit of speed out here. It hasn't been too bad. All right, so as we've uh, kind of got this going on here, so we've got a, another little bit to go here. We're, we're going to be switching on into Oregon here pretty soon. So we'll try to finish up our trip here, give you some good action shots as always. We'll uh, we'll throw those stuff up here uh, in the next little bit. And, uh, and you guys enjoy that. And we'll finish our trip up here by coming on into Ontario's where we're headed into the Oregon. So uh, we'll uh, get to see a little more Oregon, Oregon DLC. So, all right. All right, well, here we are. We've got our uh, last little bit here, so we're going to try to squeeze her into the uh, the lot here. And ho I hope we can do this. We're going to see. The, this is kind of like one of those real tests for something like this, so let me let me, let me me watch the front of the truck here. I don't want to... You really kind of almost got to go in these things diagonally. Let's go ahead and gear down here. So we'll kind of start this turn, and then we'll uh, get in a little bit diagonal, and then we should be able to go all the way through then cut it hard. All right, let's try and see what let's see what let's see what it's going to do. Oh, 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 oh! Squeeze! Everybody suck in. <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it right there. That is how you do it. Freaking heck to the yeah! And we got to make one more, but that's all right. We we made the big one. That's all I'm really worried about. We should have plenty of room on this one. And let's go ahead and start cutting. what I'm talking about right there. All right, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, I will, I'll finish getting that thing all set up here. So uh, we'll go and set a park right there. So thanks, guys, for joining us here on the big, gigantic silo haul. Uh, we've got more of this trailer. So if you want to see any more of these loads, we'll see another little quick trip here and something else. You know, hey, let me know. Uh, I'll be glad to, uh, to throw something else in there together. Like I always said, 
and and also here on this last video if you guys want to see anything else that you uh, that you haven't seen especially when it comes to trucks anything else as you can see we're in the mac anthem which is one of the brand new macs a new truck and usually we're always featuring the old trucks and not necessarily have the new stuff out so today we decided to grab the new stuff out there it's got a nice engine in it uh, and as you can see, it's even pulling this at 198,000 ish pounds. So we're grossing over 210k. So that's pretty slick. So anyway, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this. If you want to see some more of this, if you want to see some other trailer reviews and uh, all the, also other uh, mod showcases. So uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate your support here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share these out with your friends. Let them know we're here. Let them know we're still doing some things. And thanks so much, guys. Thanks for the support. We'll see you here on the next next ATS or whatever video it is that we push out. Might not be ATS, uh, but it very well probably will be and, and probably will be. And that's, yeah, yeah, it, it probably will be. Anyway, that's it, guys. Have a little fun. We'll see you here on the next video.